talk about my grandma. She was amazing. My grams, my grams was the person that I would go to every for everything. Um, you know, if I was, if I was sad, if I was going through a lot of bullshit in my life, you know, all this other stuff, I would always go to my grandmother. So anyway, um, I want to talk about the one time I was playing my guitar. <laughs> grandma, and Grandma goes, "Oh, you're gonna go, you're gonna do the room." Boom, boom, boom. And she said I was doing the boom, boom, boom. And she got so fed up that she knocked me over the head with the guitar. I think I got like a big bump from it, actually. But, uh, oh my God, there's so many memories. The one time I was chasing her with the guitar. And I was, uh, I'm sorry. I, I said that already. The one time I was chasing her with the camera, I, I was chasing her in the bathroom. I videotaped her in the shower. And she threw, when she got out of the shower, she threw the screwdriver at me. She was so mad. Um, one time I was downstairs, I was playing the piano. And Grandma goes, ay, ay, ay. <laughs> one time she got attacked by squirrels because she kept feeding the squirrels in New Jersey, and my grandma's, you know, she was, well, she was raised on a farm, but, uh, I guess she was really good at it, because a whole bunch of squirrels were just surrounding her, they all wanted nuts, and my grandmother would throw the nuts outside, and next thing you know, they were all over, so, um, so my grandmother stopped giving the squirrels nuts, and I think she fought with one of them, we had a, a rabbit named Thumper, that she hit a couple of times, and then he peed on her. Um, back in New York, uh, just doing laundry with my grandma and, and washing and doing the floors and and cooking and laughing and singing and me being in front of the camera and saying, "Look, Grandma, I'm an actress," you know, and I I do like something from All My Children, which me and my grandmother will watch together. I loved that soap opera, and we would just sit down, and we would just talk about it for hours, and be like, oh my god, Erica Kane, and my, my grandma would say, oh, she's there, oh, she likes a lot of men, which was true, my Erica Kane was, like, man hunting every, every year, and, uh, we would just make fun of her, and, uh, all those nice memories, god, you never lo think you're gonna lose, lose someone that you really love, it's almost like, I'm in a dream right now, it feels like uh it feel it feels like a like a story, you know? It feels like I'm like my I, like my body's here but my, my, my soul is somewhere else, you know? It feels like like it's like it's already happened, you know? And this is a story and now I'm gonna move into another chapter of my life and then there's gonna be another story after that and It, it's it's almost like uh, sometimes I feel like I have feelings of of sadness and anger and then there's a side of me that's completely like I don't feel anything it's it's like did this really happen you know it's like it's like a flashback of life it's it's really weird how I feel right now just going through flashbacks and thinking of things you know and uh you know, I just, uh, I'm not going to be able to call her anymore. I'm not going to be able to say woof woof at the end of our, of our conversations. She just loved, she loves her coffee. I remember when she used to have her coffee and cheese. She's not going to sit with us during Christmas anymore. Thanksgiving. Mm. Anyway. Well, let me tell you the other part. I've learned, um, I've learned that, um, you know, when this stuff like this happens, when you lose anybody or you've got no one to talk to, I mean, you could talk to your family, of course, but, um, 
just 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 go on camera. Go go and videotape how you feel. Go and talk to a bear if you want to. Whatever. I just um you know, I talked to my son about my grandma and I talked to you know my son is very um caring towards my grandmother and my daughter loved my her grandmother as well, her great grandmother. Um you know, my mom and my uncles, you know, we all do. And I, I guess because I feel special because I feel like I had that bond with her that nobody else had. I'm trying to be, I'm a little selfish, but I kind of feel like I did. I don't, I don't know why. I just feel like my bond was very strong with my grandmother. And um, I guess that's very selfish of me, but that's how I feel. And, uh, you know, life, life is like this. I guess we're all going to go s someday, and we don't know when, and we're all going to mourn each other, and, um, you know, but don't expect too much from people, because, you know, when you lose somebody, they're not going to be all lovey-dovey and caring, and, you know, because the reality is, is that when you lose somebody, you lost them, not them, and, uh, life is going to go on, that's just the way it is, life keeps going, and the world keeps spinning, and, you know, everything just is like a revolving door it just doesn't end you know until Jesus comes and and ends it you know that's how I feel um so you try to be strong and you, you try to be positive and that's it life keeps going and uh, that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna try to live the way my grandmother lived and and just try to not curse uh, she taught me about Christ and um I'm going to start reading more of the Bible, and I'm going to stop hating people that I do not like, and I'm going to start stop like you know trying to be angry when I'm driving. Um, I'm going to start being nicer to my mom, uh, my sister, and my family, and. Uh, you know, and I want to teach my kids about God and show them that 